Hi mga kalablab, so let's start. Let's add a video or a picture. Just click on media and it will show all the files that you can use for editing. This time, I will use my video that I recorded on my phone. Go to camera. Here are the videos. So you choose whichever video you would like to use and then click on it. Click. <laughs> and then click the check mark on the upper right corner. Now this is how your video looks like on the main screen. You can take a look at the preview of your video, just swipe the right or left. Now, if you would like to cut a specific part of the video, go to the segment of the video, click on the video, it will be highlighted in yellow, and it will show this menu on the right part. A lot of options will be shown. You can cut, you can edit the speed, the filter, and if you would like to cut it, just click on the scissor icon. You can choose from these options. This time, I'm going to use split at playhead. And now you can see that two videos are split in half. If you like to remove the right part of the video or left part, just click on the option so you can see on this screen. It will be best to split the video so you will know which part to speed it up and which you would like to slow down. This is how you adjust the speed of your video. Click on the segment of the video you would like to adjust. It will be highlighted in yellow. Click on speed and then you can even mute the audio in this part. And drag to left if you would like to slow it and go to right if you would like to speed it up. To zoom in on the video, click on the desired segment of the video, and then click the icon beside the scissor, and then pinch in to whatever part you would like to zoom in. To add text to your video, just click on the segment of the video and click on layer. You can also add another video on top of this video or a picture, an effect, a handwriting or overlay, or you would like to add a text, just click on letter T. When you click on T, this will show you can type in the word or the statement you would like to add on the video. Then click on OK, and if you would like to change the size, just drag it up and down or move it around the video. And to change the font style, click on the A beside the scissor icon. It will now show the available font styles you can choose from. Click one and then click on the uh, check mark on the upper right hand corner. To change the color, just click on the box beside the scissor icon on the right part. It will show the available colors here. You may just choose one and then click on the check mark on the right part. Now you can just adjust your text or statement. And this is how to add animation to your text. Click on In Animation. You can choose from these options, Fade, Pop, or Slide Right. And then click on the check mark if you have chosen one. You can even adjust the time of how many seconds it will appear on the video. This is how you add a picture to your video. Click on layer and then media. It will now show your gallery or pictures you can add to your video. Click one and then click again on the check mark. You can resize or move it around on your video. This shows the adjustments that you can do on the picture on top of your video. You can even choose the color filter. You can also crop the picture. Click on the picture and go to cropping and adjust the picture to the desired size. You can also adjust the duration of the picture on top of your video. Just drag it left to right. You can also add animation to it. To add sounds to your video, click on audio. It will show all the sounds or music that you have installed on your phone. Or you may click on Music Assets or SFX Assets.
you already have a sound you would like to add just choose it and then click on the plus icon it will be added on the bottom part of your video to adjust the sound and increase the volume click on the speaker icon drag it up to 200 percent and you can even trim or adjust or cut your sound like a video Once done with your video, you can go ahead and save or export that. Just click on the button, arrow going up, and the screen will show. It will allow you to choose from different resolution of the video, and then click on export to save it. It's now exporting the video or it's saving the video on your own device. Wait for it to be completed and it will automatically show in your gallery. Be back in the morning. So